Okay, so to understand how to use the hydrostatic pressure force, I'm currently modeling a boat as a half cylinder, a simplified model, and I'm going to be using symmetry, so I only modeled a half of that, so a quarter of a cylinder, and you do that in the geometry and assign the material properties and then create a mesh for it. So then, to dis define the loads on this object, so first there's going to be gravity, which is in the negative y direction in this case. Then I'm going to simulate two people in this boat as po point loads. So, assign them here. And we're going to assume that they're 180 pounds. Then I want to define the symmetry. So I'm going to fix the x displacement here along the line of symmetry so that because there's another half of the canoe or boat on the other side that can't move in the x direction. Also going to fix the rotation on that axis so that it doesn't twist on itself. But it'll be allowed to bend in the x direction. So it can be it'll be like a beam. Then we're gonna fix the ends. One end we're gonna as a roller, modeling this as a sort of a simply supported beam so that this cannot move up and down. Then the other end, we're going to treat it as a fixed end, but because the x component direction has already been fixed because of the symmetry don't need to and also that the y and z rotations have already been fixed you just need to restrict the x and the y and z components and then you start you put on the hydrostatic pressure so here you're going to apply it to all the surfaces And the density of water in pounds per inch is 0 0.03613. And got it from the 62.4 pounds per cubic feet. Then the acceleration here, it's the acceleration of gravity. So in inches per second squared, it's 360, 80. 6.4 inches per second squared. So, and then now it's you have to determine. In this case, we're gonna try and determine how high the water comes up the boat, because when you're in a boat, the water isn't at the rim. There's always some surface that there's no water, and that's called freeboard. So. In this case, our, in this mo my model, um, this entire model is in the negative axis with, like, for my global coordinates. So I'm going to estimate, just guessing where, how much lower to put the boat, uh, the water line. I'm just guessing three inches, but 
this is just a guess and you, in order to determine the exact location you have to um, do this process iteratively and in order to do that so you know that this is being supported by water so there should not be concentration of forces so in order to check that there aren't high force concentrations at the ends where we have fixed it so that it's not something caused by us fixing it um, you're gonna put a probe at the each end so that you can see what reactions result from the high, how high we put the hydrostatic loads and so ideally there should be very little essentially zero loads from here there should not because it otherwise it would be loads caused by us fixing it which is not true in reality so and then if you want to check stress and strain you can also put that in on displacement so just press solve So, as you can see, my initial guess for the stresses was way off. At this reaction, it's having huge forces, which means there, and it's an upward force, as you can see, uh, or upward to this way force. So, I'm going to try putting less hydrostatic forces on it. Let's see. And then, in order to figure out it, and then you just keep trying the changing this y coordinate number until you get as close to zero as you can with these force reactions and then you can, from there you can you do stress evaluations or um, the deformations of this figure 